Thank you, Presiding Officer. The Scottish Government Amendment rightly congratulates Wishaw on being named UK Neonatal Team of the Year 2023. It is a wonderful achievement that we should all celebrate. But we are in a ridiculous situation where the Government is praising Wishaw's neonatal unit in one breath and downgrading it in another. Make it make sense, because for the parents, families and healthcare professionals who know the unit inside out, it is absurd, out of touch and dangerous. Presiding officer, the Scottish Government is making a terrible mistake if it allows the neonatal unit at Wishaw to be downgraded. The petition against the plan spearheaded by Lanarkshire mum, Lynn McRitchie, has already been signed by more than 12,000 people. The widespread community outrage and worry is unsurprising, as Wishaw's neonatal team are like a second family for so many in our communities. I want to thank everyone who signed the petition and pay tribute to Lynn McRitchie, who is in the public gallery right now. We are also joined by Angela Tierney from Blantyre, who told me that the neonatal care the neonatal team care for babies, including her son Ollie, like they are their own children, with love, compassion and enormous skill. When Angela gave birth to Ollie, she was extremely ill and, like Stephanie Griffin, could not be moved. Ollie received excellent care at Wishaw, but sadly, he died. He was only five days old. And the memories that Angela husband Barry and their family were able to make in their community with Ollie will stay with them forever. Under these plans, Ollie would have been transferred from Wishaw, separated from his extremely ill mother, and the Tierney family would have been robbed of precious time with their Ollie. The minister and every MSP should think about Ollie when we vote tonight. Because Ollie is not a statistic. He was and is a precious member of a loving family and a community who continue to fundraise for Team Ollie Bear Blantyre, raising vital funds for Wishaw's neonatal unit in his memory. I am so disappointed by the letter I received from the Minister last week in response to my request, our request for a pause and rethink. Jenny Minto attempts to justify the downgrade by saying, Quote, this will affect a very small number of families in Lanarkshire, end quote. Tell that to the Tierneys, tell that to the McRitchies, tell that to the Griffins. As we've heard from Rose's dad, my brilliant colleague, Mark Griffin, this is a life-saving unit and the minister would do well to properly listen to families. I have listened. We have listened, listened to Lynn McRitchie, who believes her son Innes would not be alive today if he had been transferred to Glasgow, Edinburgh or Aberdeen. Innes is thriving today, thanks in large part to Wishaw's neonatal team. We've already heard from Jackie Bailey that the government's downgrading plans are having an impact now. Several nurse recruits who had accepted job, job offers have now withdrawn following the publication of the appraisal report in July. NHS Lanarkshire needs support with recruitment and retention, especially in the aftermath of Code Black. These plans will undermine that. Do ministers really intend to separate these families at a critical and traumatic time? How can this government claim to be tackling inequality when it is downgrading a vital neonatal unit in one of Scotland's largest and most deprived health boards? Presiding officer, the strength and scale of the community reaction to this proposal should give the government pause for consideration on whether this really is the best start. The government hasn't properly included families or staff in Lanarkshire, but it's not too late. So start listening, fix this flawed process and stop the downgrade of Wishaw's neonatal unit.